Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome here at the Technical Forum at the Group Exhibit Hydrogen, Fuel Cells and Batteries this year at the Hanover Fairground in the year of 2015. Every 15 minutes we'll have interesting presentations regarding the hydrogen industry. For that, please come and have a seat. I invite you all for our complimentary drinks are all on the house today. And there's a lovely lady walking around and serving you with the drinks. Our next topic will be PEM fuel cell stack testing procedures in the EU project stack test. So please welcome with me on stage project manager at Next Energy, EW Forschungszentrum für Energietechnologien e.V., Dr. Corinna Harms. Big hands, please. Thank you very much. Um, good morning, everybody, and welcome to my presentation. I will show you results today from the European project called Stack Test. But first, I will spend a few words on Next Energy, which is the research institute where I come from. So Next Energy is situated in Oldenburg in northern Germany. It's approximately 150 kilometers northwest of, uh, of Hanover. And it was founded in March 2007. So we are organized as a non-profit organization with EWE, which is our main sponsor, as well as the University of Oldenburg and the state of Lower Saxony. We are located at the campus of the Karl von Ossetsky University and our research is dedicated to the fields of renewable energies, energy infrastructure and energy efficiency. The research and development is organized within three main divisions, which are photovoltaics, fuel cells and energy storage. There we have a look at the single components in materials research so this includes characterization and development of materials. Then we go one step further, how to integrate those components into systems. That means that we have a look at the characterization of CHP systems or photovoltaic systems, for example. And covering all these three divisions, we have the optimization of energy management for buildings where we can have a detailed look at the, all the energy fluxes that you can have in buildings and optimize them. Our research is complemented by system modeling and analysis. There's the question how to integrate renewable energies into the grid. This is our um, fuel cells division and it is split into three sections. One section is the CHP systems where we can characterize CHP systems. For example, we have a look at um, utilization rates or performance and we can measure also the dem energy demand of buildings with high resolution. In the characterization part, we are working on understanding aging and degradation mechanisms in order to enhance the lifetime of fuel cells. In the materials part, we have a detailed look at single components like membranes and catalysts, but we're also working on the fabrication of MEAs, mainly on the topic of alkaline exchange membrane fuel cells. The um, results I will show you from the European project stack test. Um, we are in total 11 project partners coming from six countries. And our project started in September 2012. So we have around five more months to go. And we are working on the development and validation of harmonized testing procedures for PEMFC stacks. Our approach is that we first defined generic test modules. What is that is I will show you later and then can use different parameter sets for application-specific test programs. And applications could be, for example, automotive, stationary, or portable applications. So our approach is that we um, concentrate on the PAMFC stack in contrast to single cells. So in contrast to single cells in stacks, you have um, temperature gradients or pressure gradients, for example. And for single cells, they are standards available, which are not existing for PEMFC stacks. So the modular approach is that we define test modules and in one test module we just vary one input parameter and we have a look at the output parameter which could be the stack voltage or the single cell voltages. These test modules can then be combined to test programs that is depending on the aim of your test and depending on your application. Here's an overview of the test modules we developed. It is split into performance, endurance, and safety testing. 
So in performance, or covering all aspects, we have a so-called master document where general aspects are defined, like starting up and shutting down a stack or measurement accuracies you need and also additional um, general requirements for test benches. In the performance part, you have then different sensitivity test modules where you see how it influences the output parameter, the stack voltage. We have also different characterization methods developed like electrochemical methods and a polarization curve. For endurance testing, you can use most of the test modules already developed in the performance testing, but then with different parameter sets. And in addition, we have steady state endurance, load cycling and start-stop endurance measurements. For the safety aspects, we have also kind of a master document where a gas leakage test is defined. This gas leakage, leakage test helps to evaluate the influence of the safety measurements. And the test modules contain um, vibrations, so mechanical influences on the stack, thermal influences like thermal shock or excess temperature, and also electrical safety aspects are covered. Here's, here are two examples for the combination of test modules to test programs. This is already done in the project, but you can use the test modules as you like and combine them to test programs depending on your application. One test program is called Stack Performance Assessment, where you, you run the stack at a, a constant load. This could be, for example, the nominal operating conditions given by the manufacturer. And then you characterize the stack by electrochemical methods that gives you more information about the state of the electrocatalyst and the state of the membranes, for example. The stack performance mapping gives you information of the influence of different input parameters on your stack voltage. That could help you to develop um, an optimized polarization curve for your stack. But what is needed to make comparable measurements and to harmonize testing procedures. We have here some ideas how um, different parameters or different um, influences could be defined. So we defined the sensor positionings, which is important for parameter control, which is mainly on temperature and pressure, because the temperature and the pressure is non-homogeneously distributed within the stack. We set the gas temperature to plus 5 degrees C of the stack temperature to avoid condensation in all parts of the stack. Also, we did not fix ramping times. That means if you fix ramping times, for example, for humidity changes, it could be that your test bench is not able to follow fast changes, and that would mean that you rather test the test bench than the stack itself. We defined also a stability criterion for the stack voltage to distinguish between stable and unstable performance. Also, the direction of parameter changes should be given in the test modules. For some parameters that may be obvious for humidity, for example, but that could be also true for other parameters. So we think that we should go from values where the stack voltage is more stable going to a higher deviation of stack voltage. I will show you now exemplary results um, generated with the NTPEM FC stack made by ZSW. Here's one example from the influence of the temperature on the stack um, voltage. We measured three different temperatures and at each temperature we varied the load at four different load points. The stack inlet and stack outlet temperature is shown and you can see that we have um, at high loads that we have a deviation in the temperature of the stack inlet and the outlet. That makes it clear that we need a definition for the sensor positioning. And to evaluate these data, you can plot it like um, in this graph, where the different temperatures are shown and the average cell voltage. In addition, the error bars represent the minimum and the maximum single cell voltage in order to show the homogeneity of the voltages within the stack. Here's one example from endurance testing. This is a load cycle from um, an automotive application. This load cycle is then repeated for several hours and we can investigate the degradation of the voltage. 
So we have one example from nine hours operation and 72 hours of operation. You can plot, you can plot the degradation as pseudo-polarization curves, where you take the load values and the resulting voltages uh, at different points, and then have a look how the degradation behaves. We have also one test module for pressure sensitivity, which is the safety aspect. In this test module, we define also a preconditioning as the humidity in the membrane could influence um, the gas leakage. We can measure gas crossover by using differential pressure and also external leakage. In addition, we could use um, this test module for measuring an overpressure of the cooling compartment. The influence of these overpressures on the stack is then evaluated by a gas leakage test before and after this test module. So in conclusion, I showed you the setup of test modules within the European project called Stack Test. It defines measurements and control parameters and positions. The test modules can be combined to test programs either we have already defined test programs or you can combine them as you like. And I showed you examples from the test modules or from the validation regarding performance, endurance and safety aspect. At the moment we have an ongoing round robin test to test the influences of different test benches and laboratories. We will have a final dissemination workshop of the project. It will be held in June this year, so you are kindly invited and there we will show our latest results from the project, but we invited also representatives from industry and research in institutes to show their results. And you can find more information coming soon on our homepage. And the test modules are also available on request on our homepage, so uh, we would be happy if you download them to get feedback from you, as it is for us important that these testing procedures are relevant for industry. I want to thank all of our stack test partners um, who worked on the development of the test modules and test programs and also on the validation. And if you have questions, I would be happy either to ask to answer them now or you can come to Next Energy and visit us at our booth at D55. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are there any questions from the audience? Okay, all questions can be taken to the booth. The next energy booth is at? D55. D55. All right, thank you for your presentation. Yeah, thank thank you, you for your patience and your, your time. And I wish you a good fair. Next talk in only five minutes' time will be the advancements in PEM electrolysis and the realization no. of megawatt scale. Ambition. My proton side in only five minutes time. <laughs>